In this video, I will guide you through the process of three essential steps to install Reshade for the best gaming experience. Firstly, I'll show you how to install Reshade in GTA 5. Then, I'll provide you with a fantastic preset to enhance your gaming experience. After that, I'll guide you on how to change the Reshade menu key from home to any key you prefer. And finally, I'll teach you how to customize and fine tune the appearance to save and edit a preset. Let's dive into the world of graphic modifications and take your gaming experience to a whole new level. So let's get started. To make this all work, we're gonna go ahead and download the two files. I will leave a link in the description towards my Discord server. Go ahead and join it, verify yourself, scroll down until you see links and resources go to the channel called gta graphics go to post number 17 and here you'll have the two files that we will be using number one is the program software reshade itself the second one is the preset that i use you don't need to use it if you don't want to this is just a tutorial to show you how i use it for anyone that's lazy we also have an installation service where you can pick a package we install it remotely for you Going back to the channel graphics, we're going to go ahead and visit the first link and download the second file. Go ahead and click on download, it will download and let's go ahead and download my preset also. I don't know why for some reason it says blocked, I'm going to keep it, do this on your own risk though, as I have set up that preset myself. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our Grand Theft Auto main directory folder and the files that we downloaded. So on our left side, we have our main directory folder. On our right side, the files we downloaded. Go ahead and create a new folder within your GTA main directory folder. Call it Reshade. And go in that folder here. You can put in the preset. This folder is where you can put all your presets in so you have them saved in one folder. Let's go ahead and install Reshade itself. Click on Browse, search for your game and make sure to open up this file right here. Click Next, click Next again. It's going to ask you to install a preset. Here's where you can actually go ahead and open up this file already. If you're not using my preset, you can skip it or download any other presets. So open it up, go to the reshade folder or any other presets that you've downloaded, double click on it, hit next. And now it's gonna install anything related to that preset. We're gonna uncheck and we're gonna check all so we get all the presets and packages. Hit next. And there you have it, it's installing. So the next step is where everyone has an issue is that it doesn't load up. Well, a lot of people have this issue. I'm going to show you how to solve this part. Um, it's actually very easy. We're going to go ahead to this file right here, the GTA5.exe file. Double right click on it, click on properties, go to compatibility and make sure to check. Run this program in compatibility, compatibility mode for Windows 7. Hit apply, hit OK. Now go down until you see play GTA 5. Right click on it, go to properties, compatibility, and also run this program in Windows 7. And now we will actually load up Reshade for you. Believe it or not, that's how easy it is. The next step for us is to start up the game. You can see the game is fully loaded up. Let's go ahead and click the home button the annoying part of course is is that you also get the rockstars screen right here we're gonna go ahead and change that right away we're gonna skip tutorial if you want you can read it you'll notice right away that our presets already set i'm gonna show you how to change some settings in your own preferred way how you can save it and also how you can change that annoying home button into a different button the button that i like to use is the INS insert button. Go ahead and click on it on your keyboard and it will automatically change home into insert. Now you can 
hit the insert button and it will go away hit the escape to remove that and hit insert again and you will get the reshade settings okay let's do a walkthrough of some settings that you can change open up your reshade make sure auto save for now is not on so anything that you change you can easily get back to the original uh, these are the things that are checked in my preset if you're using it you can easily turn something off and on by checking and unchecking it as you can see every setting will have effect so if you don't like something let's say this one right here you can go down um, and here you'll see that that is this option right here you can change the settings by just sliding it right here some may have effect more than others as you can see here the color will change if you focus on the vehicle only the colors will get more here the second thing saturation again everything will have effect so what you could also do the file that we have here you can copy it and name it part two or part one so you'll have two parts that you can always have you can add more packages to the preset everything will have an effect if you want to change something else one of these you just scroll up make sure you make these all smaller and you'll see exactly what is checked currently and which one you want to edit and that's how easy this is so there's so many settings that you can change I recommend you testing them out see what you like what colors fit your needs in the game and yeah have an awesome experience with that now let's say we want to save it you can actually click save right here clean up and save now it's gonna overwrite my data so again if you also want to have that you can best copy that rename this package and if you want auto save on it will have it on that's how easy it is that being said i think we're coming to an end at this tutorial let me know if it worked for you let me know if you enjoyed it give me some feedback thank you all for watching have a great day goodbye